Welcome to Silver Eagle Locksmith Las Vegas YouTube channel. My name is Kobe and I'm a professional locksmith here in Las Vegas, Nevada for more than six years. And this channel, I will provide you with the best tips ever and do-it-yourself tutorial at how to increase your home and business security with a practical and affordable solutions that I personally recommend to my own clients. Uh, in this video today, we'll walk through each step in how to install the ultimate strike plate yes that's what it is the ultimate strike plate make your front door to be Fort Knox I recommend to install that strike plate in any door in the house or just the front door it's an optional um, with the installation of the strike plate you will prevent at least make your door to be super resistant to burglary by door jam attack and all other forced entry the main tools that you will need to install that strike plate is the actual strike plate of course and we'll tell you where you can buy that and actually we're going to share a link right below this video where you can buy that strike plate you will need a power drill most people have that um, you will need an eighth drill bit just a standard drill bit and a screwdriver just a Phillips screwdriver will do the work. And there is a few other tools that you will need as well. Uh, we will talk about that in the installation. Okay, so the different strike plates that out there are residential strike plate. You can see the picture, right? Yeah, it's right there. Okay, we got a residential strike plate and we have a commercial strike plate. The picture is there? Oh yeah, yeah. okay. So the commercial strike plate and we got the damage cover-up strike plate. Today we're gonna install that guy, damage cover-up strike plate, but let me tell you a tip. If you install that strike plate before something happened, before someone attacking to your door or try to break into your house, it will actually prevent that from the very beginning. So stay tuned. We're gonna show you how to install it right now. Hi there again. So we're going to show you today how to install the strike plate as we talked about earlier. Uh, I got this strike plate actually in Home Depot. They call it Ultimate Kick and Protection by Defender Security. Um, this strike plate I've been using for a while um, with my work customers. They're happy with that. Uh, it gives a great security and uh, it's reinforcing like the best I mean that I know anyway. Um, you can buy that product online as well. We will share links later on. Uh, right below the video and now what we're gonna do we're gonna show you step by step how to install it the right way and what you should do before the installation so you don't make any mistakes so let's go okay so now what are you gonna do the first thing before you're installing the product you want to make sure you have enough space to install it what the manufacturers say you got to check the space between the door and the jam which is the um, your actual frame so what I used to do is I'm using an a drill bit that's enough space to install the product and I just take it um, and just stick it right here between the gap um, and I kind of go down all the way down just to make sure I have enough space um, you know so in this door the product will fit perfectly fine but there is uh, there is instruction how to install it anyway with a small gap between the door and the frame okay so the first thing now what we're gonna do is to remove the old strike plate I'm gonna remove them completely the top and the bottom one. Now we're gonna start. What I like to do is to remove that rubber thing here so it won't bother us um, with the installation because sometimes it does. So, don't remove it completely, just take it just like this to install the plate. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the first plate, that's the one. And uh, what we want to do, we want to make sure what is the size between the latch and the bolt. Uh, usually it's five and a half inch to six inch. Um, yeah, and this one, what I see 
it's five and a half inch. So what you have to do, you have to cut this uh, small square here. Um, you can use any tool that you want. Uh, I use a Dremel. Um, and uh, that's it, that's the first thing you should do. And later on I'll show you um, what to do next. If you don't have a Dremel um, or anything else to use, you can use your drill bit and any drill bit, but you gotta be very, very careful the way you do that um, so you don't hurt yourself, of course. Um, so make sure you hold the plate in a good position um, so it won't uh, uh, cut you or whatever. So sometimes I do that um, and sometimes I use other tools, but this is not a big deal anyway. Just be careful, that's it. Make sure you hold it tight all the time so it won't move anywhere. Okay. Now you can use any screwdriver or whatever you guys have just to kind of pry it open. Kind of play with that a little bit. And again, be very careful the way you do it because, um, you know, you can harm yourself if you don't. Those edges here are very sharp, so you want to be very careful when you install it. Um, I use some other tools to shave that um, those parts later on, uh, and I'll show you uh, how to do it later. Just be careful because you can cut yourself. Okay, so now we're going to drill not the top two we're gonna start with the ones in the middle so we actually have one two three four holes that we're gonna drill uh, with an eight drill bit all the way in all the way in and uh, then we're gonna start with uh, the top holes but those ones we're not gonna drill all the way in because it's a smaller screw okay One, two, three. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna drill the top holes. Um, those ones, as I say, they're gonna be shorter. That's about what you need. That's about the screws that you need for the top um, screw. So that's what you're gonna drill now. That's one. That's two. Let me go down. Okay, so now we're gonna take the screws that's come with the product. So we got the large screws, which is the three inch diameter and the short ones are a little bit less than an inch um, so we're gonna start with the large screw first and we go step by step right now okay so now we have those two plates one of them is for the frame right here so it's complete the plate in the middle and one of the plate is gonna go underneath just like this and those two holes will go exactly right here and that's why I left that screws like that so it will complete and what you want to do now before you tighten those up I'm gonna make sure they're straight both of them um, they are Looks okay. Doesn't have to be 100%, but. So we do the same thing. We mark the holes that we need. Now, you can put those two short screws, which I'm gonna do right now. Okay. 
first. You can actually remove that one for now. That, that cover that go on top of it, so it won't fall on you. Okay, now we're gonna drill the eighth bit. We're gonna install the three inch screw, so we're gonna drill all the way. Uh, you wanna go a little bit offside, so it's actually gonna attach better to the stud inside, so. And it's one. Number two, and that's the last one. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna install the plated go on top of it. Just like this. So you can see it's flat. And you're gonna use the three inch screws. And that's how we're gonna do it. Don't tighten it all the way, just use a regular screwdriver to tighten it up because you don't want the head to break. Just tighten it with your hand, that's how I do it. And it's strong enough. Okay, so now um, the last part of that plate is the bottom one and you're gonna do the exact same thing as we did in the top uh, we're gonna drill three inch um, uh, screws right here so you're gonna use your eighth and eighth uh, drill bits all the way in um, and then you're gonna tie those small screws that's come um, so that's how basically the plate looks like when it's done from top to bottom um, and the other things you need to do when it's done, you're gonna use a regular screwdriver uh, to tighten it up. You're not gonna use your power drill to do that because that can break your head screw. So you're just gonna use a regular screwdriver to do that work for you. So nothing's gonna break on the way. Alright, so we're done with that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use that uh, small tool that I bought on a small hardware store. Uh, they don't sell those in Home Depot yet, so it's gonna be like mom and dad type of uh, hardware store. Um, it's called uh, Carbide, Carbide um, Double Cut, and it's made um, to shave metals and wood and uh, it's actually lasts really, really long time. Uh, I highly recommend that product. Now if you don't have it, you can use other stuff they sell in Home Depot as well, uh, but la they last, uh, last longer. Okay, so now um, you're gonna shave the metal so it won't hurt anything. And we're gonna use the same tool um, to do some adjustment when we need. Um, when we're gonna close the door, we're gonna check if the bolt go in and out smooth without any uh, interruption. So that's the type of tool that you wanna use for adjustment as well. So we're almost done. Um, so we're gonna check if the door is aligned with the strike. Um, so we're gonna close the door and 
we can see yeah so it doesn't go all the way in so we will need to do some adjustment um, so that's how I'm doing it I'm using the same tool that I show you before we're just gonna shave a little bit the wood Let's check again if the door closed correctly. All right, now another thing that's come with the kit is that uh, small cover for the door is for the actual bolt and latch. Now, on some doors you can put it, um, it's not must. Uh, I recommend to do that, but um, sometimes it's not gonna work well because it's not going to let your, your door close. Um, it's recommended, it's good because it's helped that if someone try to kick the door, so it will give another uh, reinforcement for that door not to split. Um, so yes, I would recommend to put it on. Uh, it's not must, but you know, it depends on the gap that you have between the door and the, and the actual frame. So um, just so you know, it's not must, but yeah, it's recommended. If you can, put it on. All you need to do, just take the two screws here, put them back when you put the plate. There is another uh, holes for two screws on the inside and two screws for the outside. Um, and the screws actually come with the kit. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now you can do the same thing on the bottom and uh, like I said, it's not must, but it's recommended. If you can do it, do it. If not, nothing happened. Your door will still be secure. It's not gonna be easy to kick your door. There's a small thing here that um, I wanna talk to you about. Um, as an extra, um, some other kits, uh, they have uh, an extra screws um, to reinforce the hinges as well. Because um, you know, the hinges that come with new house or, or even hold the houses, they're very short screws. They're not really reinforcing them uh, the way they should be, just like the strike plate. Um, what I recommend to do, I can show you. So what you should really do is buy uh, three inch sc screws, just like the one that's come with the kit. You can buy them in Home Depot or any hardware store and just replacing the ones that are right here. The one that more far from the edge, um, just replacing those two with three inch screws. So do the same thing in all the edges, uh, just replacing to there, to here, to in the middle one, and to in the bottom. Um, make sure you drill with an eight um, drill bit all the way in so your um, the wood won't split. But you can do that. Um, it's not, I mean, it's not must, but yes, if you're already doing the strike plate um, and you invest so much time in it and effort, I would recommend to do the angels as well. Um, just reinforce them with three inch screws uh, that will definitely increase uh, the security for your door and it shouldn't take you more than five or ten minutes. Um, we didn't do it in that video uh, but I just wanted to talk about it just to give you uh, this information. Thank you. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, in my next video, we will walk through about the Ring Video Doorbell, a security camera for your front door. Sound interesting, huh? Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. You get the link. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Okay, just click here, right here.
just click here yeah right there and then you can subscribe to my channel and every week we are gonna update a new video we are gonna talk about how to increase your home security with the best and affordable solution guys you can do it yourself if I can do it you can do it see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe